<laughs> Pro tip. Don't burn your hand. Pro tip of the night. So just spraying her down with some degreaser. Yeah, let it soak real quick and then pressure washer. Bring her back to her former glory. Alright. So we decided on inspection of the engine after uh, last night that we didn't clean it just enough. So we are going to pressure wash it again along with all of the other parts down here that we haven't pressure washed yet. Might as well roll it out, make it all nice before we do a full on paint job and uh, button it all up. Welcome to my neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? All right, little update, guys. Got it all pressure washed, wire wheeled it, knocked off all the loose dirt and rust, got it all masked up, and getting it ready for paint. Came down the first coat, kind of a little windy, a little noisy, and it's hard holding the camera and spraying at the same time. Oh, way too windy. They say apply two light coats and then one medium coat and wait 10 minutes in between coats. This is what it looks like after one coat. It's not full coverage, but they say keep it light. And I'm going to wait 10 minutes and hit it with another coat. I'm not worried about the freeze plugs being painted and stuff because I'm going to change all that anyway. So we're at the 10 minute marker and we're laying down our first coat of paint. All right, ran out of paint halfway through. Gotta go get one more can before an hour. If not, we're gonna have to wait seven days according to instructions. 
Off to the parts, there we go. Coat three done. So like I said earlier, I like the way the paint lays down and stuff. It sticks pretty good. As far as no runs and things like that, but you really don't get much coverage. Next time around, I think I will go with the Rust-Oleum. I'll give that a shot. But that's pretty much it. We're going to let it dry, then uh, start putting parts on. <laughs>